following on from the last video, I thought I would show you very quickly how to blend the multiple exposures from your camera into one image, just in case you don't have multiple exposure in your camera. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've adjusted the exposure here slightly, as you can see we're in Lightroom. I'm going to lift the shadows slightly, just to about there, and that's all I'm going to do to this one. Then if I hold down shift and we've selected all the images and press sync and I've only changed a couple of things here so I'm just going to leave everything checked and you'll notice that the images all sync up so they've all been lightened by this amount. Next thing we do is take all the images into Photoshop and right click on any image and edit in Photoshop and open as layers in Photoshop and let Photoshop do its thing. Once they've all dropped into Photoshop as layers, what to do is select them all by holding down shift and then right click on any layer and convert to a smart object and Photoshop again will combine all these images into one smart object. With that layer and the smart object selected, you'll know it's a smart object because of this icon. Go into layer, smart objects, go all the way down to stack mode and select mean. And again, let Photoshop do its thing. And there you go, there we have it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click file and save and send that straight back into Lightroom. Now that your image is back in Lightroom, just edit as you normally would. For me, I am going to lift the shadows slightly and I'm also going to lift the highlights. But not too much here. I'm going to get into a preset and I'm just going to cycle through my presets to find out what one I like the best for this. Let's go for a different one for this edit. So I'm going to choose that and so we have this now so now I'd go in and you notice with a preset everything's predefined for you so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the highlights back slightly go into the masks take a linear gradient for this one drag down to about there and I'm going to darken the sky not too much just to about there I'm also going to crop this one slightly uh, I'll push the contrast a tiny bit there, just to bring out the colour. Get back up here, I'm going to crop this down to a 16 by 9. Put the bridge in the middle, just about there. Click that. Go into detail. I'm going to sharpen this even further. So I'm just going to see where it is. Tip it there. Take that up a bit further. So we've even sharper here and I'm quite happy with that but what I am going to do is I'm going to add a few radials in here and this is just you edit these as you see fit for these so I'm going to put a new one in there drag it across and for this I'm actually just going to push the saturation slightly not too much so I could go at that, bring it back down. I'm just going to push it slightly and at the same time I'm going to lift the highlights for that. I'm going to add a second mask but what I can do is I can right click on that and I can duplicate mask. Grab it and move it over here. And I'm not going to adjust it too much there. Next thing I'm going to add a new mask yet again. Radial gradient and I want to bring out the bridge a bit more, just to around there. For this one, I'm going to push the clarity to make the bridge stand out. A bit further, lift the shadows slightly and then lift the highlights and the bridge will stand out further. T top one is not looking too good, so let's go into that mask again and let's take the exposure down just to balance it out for this. Hopefully that lets you see how to manually combine the raw images for multiple exposure. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.